Hey, 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 what's up, guys? What's up? You know, we heard all winter long. All spring, summer. That the U is back. The U is back. Really? <laughs> if the U is back, then <laughs> I can't stop laughing. If the U is back, okay? then I'm the greatest basketball player to ever play, and I'm not named Michael Jeffrey Jordan, okay? That's the you. It ain't back. It ain't back. Connor Barth said so. It's not back. They're never going to be back. Coach Coop, you know the golden rule, son. You know the golden rule. You get on here on YouTube and you spew around all this crap and you talk all this shit. The U is back. The U is back. Ain't nobody going to beat the U in the ACC this year. Ain't nobody going to beat the U. Van Dyke is the best the best uh, quarterback ever by far. And it's not even close in the ACC. And then you go out there to a pretty bad Texas A&M team, okay? Yeah, I know they got a number one recruiting class in the country, but they just lost to App State last week. By far who, which App State, speaking of them, lost to this at home. My heels, 63-61. No defense, I understand that. But it was a win. And here's another thing. How many times has the U beat Mac Brown since he's come back? I can count them on one hand. And it's that much. And you want to say you're back. Coach Koo, listen, man. You got to learn someday. You got to learn. 2001s are never coming back. Nebraska fans, they're over there. 90s, early 2000s. Nebraska fans are over. When are you guys going to catch on to it? That's what I don't understand. When are you Miami fans going to realize and understand that you're not a good football team? You are not the you. You are not back. Just like Florida. Not back. Okay? And speaking of the SEC, not named Georgia, this also includes... Alabama, the great God, Alabama. There's only one team in college football right now that completely separates itself from everybody else. And that is the Georgia Bulldogs. I wish it was this. Maybe it will be in a couple of years. Who knows with the quarterback we got. Because we got a hell of a quarterback. A better one than Van Dyke, that's for sure. That's no doubt about that. Um, Texas A&M, their defense was, was good tonight, but they got a problem on offense. Anytime you score, a team score, only scores 17 points, the opposite team should have no problem winning the game. But don't tell that to Miami fans because they're belligerent. Here's the thing. And I know, I know he's going to do it. Bobby Durkins is going to get on here 
And he's just going to rub it in your face even more. You know that, Coach Koo. You know that, Kings fans. Y'all know that. The U is not back. It's never going to be back. Now, it don't matter how many how many years come and go, how many coaches you hire and whatever, you're not going to be back. You're not going to be to 2001. It's just not going to happen. The leg of Connor Barth in 2004 ended your football dynasty. It was the end. You were 6-0 and when you entered Keenan Stadium that night. I was there. And by the leg of Connor Barth, 42-yard field goal as time expired. Give Carolina the win, 31 to 28. Okay? At that time, that was the end of the U of college football. What did Miami do the rest of the year? That year? I think they went eight and four. And that's probably about the best that they've done. And with the ACC getting better, I just don't know that Miami can can hold on. I really, I I just don't. I mean, with Carolina playing as good as they're playing this year and NC State playing as good as they are and Wake, you know, but Wake, should have lost Liberty today, but um, that's what I just don't understand, Miami fans. I just don't get it. I mean, they just they just don't stop. They're they're as much, if not more, annoying than NC State fans, Ohio State fans, and Alabama fans because they don't understand logics. And the logics of the game tells you, and if you can, you know, and I'm speaking to Alabama fans too, the logic of the game tells you that Georgia's a better team. And the logics of the game tells Miami fans, the U is not back. And it's not coming back. It's just not. You might go on and have an eight and four season this year or whatever, but the U is not back. We got y'all in three weeks, I think. So we'll see what you got. But I'll tell you one thing right now. Your offense is completely way off compared to mine. So I like my chances down at Coral Gables. I really do. I like Carolina's chances. I like I I just love Carolina's chances against Notre Dame. Now I, I'm just head over heels that. I mean, I Notre Dame is just they're they're pitiful. But um I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, Miami fans. You're not back. You know? I know it's hard to hear this. It's hard to hear me get up here and say this, and it's hard to hear Bobby Durkins get up there and and trash you like he does, like you deserve, because you trash talk. You talk all this shit in the offseason, and you have nothing to back it up with in the regular season. As a matter of fact, you have a losing record to my Tar Heels by a lot, and you still run your mouth. You're not that good. Get over it. You lost to a team that lost. I mean, you lost to a team tonight that lost to Appalachian State. Who beat, I mean, who my team beat. Also, you lost to a team tonight that got beat by App State who, by the miracle of God, survived against Troy today. And you want to say you're back? No, 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 no. Hit the rewind button, go all the way back to 2001. You guys need to continue to watch that 2000, 
one season every game and pretend that it is your regular season every season. You need When football season comes around, Miami fans just need to watch the 2001 season on Saturdays. Don't watch the current ones because the U ain't back, baby. The U ain't back, and it ain't coming back. Woo!